fastball outside, curveball inside, curveball outside, fastball back inside, strikeout, pumped up. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Jose Barrios was dialed. He was doing everything he wanted to do. He's got the pitches he wants to throw them with, and he was sequencing them really nicely in a fun way. That's what I want to show you here. Look at this. So that's the fastball, and it's got a little run to it, and that's the slurve, and that's how they look together. The batter's got to figure that out just by picking up the spin on the ball. He was doing this a lot, crossing action. One pitch goes this way, the other pitch goes that way. This is the changeup and the slurve. That's nasty. So that was the basic of what he was doing to start is just, okay, that one breaks in, that one breaks out below the zone, ground ball. One goes in, one goes out, using that access to throw different pitches using that cross action to confuse the hitters a little bit. Then he started throwing other elements into play, building on the sequencing. All right, here we go. Start the at-bat. High fastball. Swinging, fouled back. So you're adjusted to 95 miles per hour. Up in the zone. Off of that, he throws change up low. Devastating combination. Look at the overlay there. Oh, boy. Now off of the change up, he throws the slurve. <laughs> it's just gross. That's just gross. So watch again. This was how the fastball and the changeup back-to-back play off each other. And this is the now changeup and the slurve playing off each other. And that's just nuts. Here's some different sequencing he did. Fastball, you take it looking. A lot of times if a guy took a pitch looking, then he threw that same pitch again and said, I bet you think you can hit it now because you've seen it. You can't. So another fastball in the zone doesn't hit it, fouls it back. You've seen two fastballs now. I'll change it up and go to the slurve, gets the strikeout. I liked that sequencing a lot. Bam, those are the two pitches. And then I thought he was going to do that again here to the lefty again. He goes fastball. He took it looking, then gets him to swing at it. Does he drop down now for the slider or mixing the change? No, this at bat, he just stayed with the fastball, but stayed climbing the ladder. Takes, but swings. What do I mean by climbing the ladder? Okay, well, that one's mid, high, higher. He just kept getting him to chase and chase and chase, making him want the fastball, but making it harder and harder for him to hit the fastball. That was pretty cool, too. This pitch, get me over curveball to start, strike looking. So now he's the batter's thinking, uh, or maybe Barrios is thinking, oh, I bet you think you can hit that now. Well, I'm going to throw it a little more off the plate, fouls it back. He loves it. Let's put it even more off the plate. Swing and a miss. Nasty. But... The Blue Jays decided they were going to take him out because it was a predetermined plan they had, even though he's had 47 pitches in the fourth inning. They should have probably been like, wow, he's pitching great. Let's leave him in. Let him ride this out. Instead, like they stick to the plan. Kikuchi gets a ground ball. They can't turn it into an out. Nice play almost. Then uh, walks the next batter to load the bases, and then he's going to get another ground ball, but they're playing the infield in a weird spot. I would have played deep to get the two ball. Uh, so that leads to a run, and then another ground ball. This one they turn for double play, but in the process of that, a run scores, and Barrios just had to look on in the dugout, thinking, man, I felt perfect. I was doing everything I wanted to do. Probably, probably could have kept going a little bit. This breakdown was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings very much for sponsoring the breakdown. And thank you to you guys for watching the breakdowns. I hope you enjoy them. And if you do, subscribe to the channel. That would be very kind.